All right, everybody, talking to you about arrows and um, probably a misconception of arrows. And even I didn't realize this for years and years of building arrows. I would take an arrow, I would fletch it, then I would stick it in my arrow cutter and measure wherever I needed to cut it, and I'd cut all of it off the front, however much that was. And I'd never even take my knock out of the arrow if it had one in it. I never checked it. Um, and we would always get flyers, arrows that just wouldn't shoot, you know. And so I started realizing and thinking and learning from, from my peers and people that had been doing it longer than I had uh, that the knock end of the arrow is actually the most important to keep straight. So now I have an a, you know, a arrow spine tester, a straightness tester, and I can cut the straightest part of this arrow. If this end is a little bit off or whatever, I can cut more out of whatever. But if you don't have that, one thing to always keep in mind is that the knock end is the most critical end when you're trying to have that straight flush fit. Um, you, want, you want your knock end to be perfect. Even if the tip end can't be perfect, the knock end has to be perfect or you're not gonna have an accurate, consistent arrow. So what I like to do, if you, if you don't have a straightness tester, cut at least an inch off the back. Then you take a little square and tool like this, or a sanding block, they make whatever. And I want you to really flush up that back end. Get a really nice flush fit. And you can you can stick your knock back in there and tell if it fits flush. If there's a, a space on one side or the other, then you're gonna know that it's not sitting in there perfectly flush. And why that is, is that string sits right in the middle of that knock. And when that bow is released, it pushes right down the center of the knock. So if the knock is not perfectly flush and centered in that arrow, it's not gonna hit that arrow in the power curve right down the middle. So it's gonna throw that arrow to the left, throw it to the right, if it's not hitting that right in the center. So everything has to be lined up on the back end to get that consistent drive of the arrow going straight down range. The point end is, is very important to keep straight, especially with broadheads, but it's not as critical as a knock end. So that's something to remember the next time you start building arrows. <laughs>